Welcome to the online video tutorial on how to install TempraCode for Windows and the USB reader drivers for Windows 7 and Windows Vista. My name is Luca Bartolets and I am the Research and Development Engineer at TempraCode International Limited. To install the USB reader, you will need a spare USB port on your computer, but do not plug in the reader just yet. First, we need to install the software and the drivers. Right. Let's get started. So I have a fresh install of Windows 7 here. Uh, Windows Vista is very similar. And um, I've already downloaded the latest version of TRW or TempraCode for Windows onto the desktop here. Um, now you may find your version on the CD or alternatively you can always go online to www.tempracode.com, find our software page and download the latest version from the website. Uh, if the CD that you have is quite old, I recommend checking on the website for the latest version. Once you have downloaded it, it may come in a zip file and you may need to extract the zip file, but in our case I've already extracted it here so I can just double click on this to start the, the installation. Um, this is just a Windows security prompt. It's basically saying that TRW setup is trying to access our hard drive. Because we do wish to install this application, we click yes to proceed. And here's the TempraCord setup wizard. Now you can see that there's a help button there and of course a link to our website right here. So let's just click next. Now we can select how we wish to install TempraCode. Um, in this example I will install it for all users with separate settings for each user. In your case you might want to install it just for your user account or you might want to install it for all users with shared settings. This is particularly good if you're the administrator and you don't maybe want the users fiddling around with any changes. You can also install it for remote users as the last option explains. So we can just click next. This is the install location where TempraCode for Windows will be installed to. I suggest keeping this default so that when we come to assist you if you have any problems it's very easy for us to tell you where to navigate to. If you do change this you'll have to take note of it if something goes wrong when you contact us. Uh, setup will create a start folder in the start menu. Uh, this basically indicates one of these folders here. Um, in this case I will create a start folder but if you don't wish to create a start folder just check this box here. We also have an option to create a desktop icon and a quick launch icon. Now in Windows 7 and in Windows Vista this does nothing. It's mainly there for Windows XP users who still have a quick launch tray on their taskbar. So I don't need to create that but I will create a desktop icon in this instance. We can click next. Now an important thing to note here is that we've got this existing settings import. Now if TRW is already installed on your machine it will actually pick up your old settings and apply them to the new version so you won't have to reset all your settings to your default values. It will actually remember them. And again we've got all the other options that we selected during the installation. Right, we're ready to install so we just click on install and off it goes and does its thing. Now here's the important thing. To install the drivers you have on these pop-up boxes you have to push install this driver software anyway. Um, not doing so will cause serious problems when installing the drivers and you will probably have to go and install them manually which is a huge hassle. So f for your own ease of use click install this driver software anyway. And there's one more of these boxes that pops up in just a few moments. And and here we go. We've got the second box that's popped up. And again, we're going to install this driver software anyway. Uh, 
Okay, Tempercord's finished installing and you can see that here we've got some release notes. These release notes can also be found in the readme file. In fact, they're the exact same thing. You can see that. So if uh, if you want to read for you can always go back and read for at a later date. These will explain any additions or bug fixes or changes that have been made to the software. So it's sometimes useful to have a read for it, especially if you're upgrading from an older version. And we can click next. Now we have the ability to launch Tempercode at this moment, but I'm going to choose not to and I'm going to click finish. Right, we can close this folder. Um, I personally like to pin Tempercode to the taskbar, so there's two ways to do that. One is to click and drag like I'm doing here, or alternatively you can click and you can pin to taskbar, or in this case now it's unpin. We can also pin to start menu, which will pin it in this list of programs here. We can see that Tempercode has created a start menu folder, and here we can see the readme file, the help file, and the user's manual. The user's manual is quite good if you have any trouble and you can easily look up anything you need to see, including how to use the toolbars, how to move things around and whatnot. Uh, it's suggested to have a read for a quick read for this if this is your first time using Tempercode. Right, we're now ready to plug in our reader, so feel free to plug in your USB reader right now. Okay, so we've plugged in the reader and we get this pop-up box up here. I'm going to click on it. You can always click on it by clicking here as well. And you can see we found uh, Windows has found a Tempercord USB reader and it's installing the driver software now and it's ready to use and the USB serial port will also be installed and it's ready to use. We can see from this that the reader has taken COM3 as the USB serial port. This will play a role if you need to debug. As you can see we've got safely remove hardware and we've got eject temper code USB reader. You do not need to do this when unplugging our reader. Nothing will happen. Right, you're now ready to start temper code. And we see the splash screen and there we go. We've started temper code for Windows. Because you've plugged in the USB reader after you started Tempercode, it will detect the reader automatically, as you can see here. If you didn't, you may have to use this option and manually select COM3. Either way, once the COM port's configured and you have a logger within the reader, you can just push the spacebar and you can see that now we're reading a logger and everything's working. So congratulations, you've just successfully installed Tempercode for Windows on your Windows 7 or Windows Vista machine. If you have any problems, please don't hesitate to contact us by either visiting our website at www.tempercode.com or sending us an email at info at Thank you very much for watching.